Let me tell you a story from many years ago. I'm in college and I'm striking out left and right with the ladies. I find a girl I'm interested in and I read her a poem on the first date or I, I, I open up too much and, and I scare her away. I'm not getting friend zoned, I'm getting friend quarantined. One night, I take a girl to a crappy hibachi restaurant and she makes it clear that she's not interested in me, but decides to help me figure out how in the world I'm gonna find love. On a napkin, we write down all of the attributes that I desire in a partner. The typical items make the list adventurous, romantic, sense of humor, independent. But I recall one which stood out more than any others. The girl who is not interested in me circles it and she holds it to my face and it says she loves Reagan for who he is. I forget this and for many years, uh, I continue to try and convince women to like me and maybe one day love me. I forget this until you show up and remind me. My favorite thing to tell people about you is that you are 100% good. You love life and everyone you meet with an honesty I've never seen before. I've learned the reason you're able to love people, including me, just as they are, is because you channel a deep love from the divine. And because of your connection to love, we have this love. And so I promise to accept the love that you so freely give so we can build the vibrant life that you so deeply desire. Okay, ding dongs. Wow. Beautiful. Unbelievable. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> Look, amazing. <laughs> I love you. I love you. Mm -hmm. love you too. You look absolutely You look beautiful. dapper. What is that? It's perfect. Yeah. Thank you for everything. Oh. I love you. And you have helped raise me and make me who I am. And I can't imagine any other souls being with me. And this is truly heaven on earth. Some people say, when you know, you know. I've never believed in love at first sight or that I'd ever have that feeling of certainty others claim to experience. But then you came along. The moment I saw you sitting on the couch that lay May evening, my heart shifted. There was a comforting whisper. He's the one. With you, I don't need to know what to do or where to go. Because from the day we met, I knew God finally provided me the desires of my heart and that my real journey had finally begun. As we continue this journey, we started nearly five years ago to the date. These are my promises to you. To always fight against the thing dividing us instead of fighting you. To be your number one fan and support as you pursue your professional dreams. To not bleach any more of your towels. To keep evolving to be a healthier version of myself so I can love you more fully with each passing day. I promise to open our door and let others in, to love people and build a community together. I promise to support you in all of your endeavors so the entire world can receive your gifts. I promise to trust the story and to live our lives from a place of abundance. I promise to love you for exactly who you are. To help you see your goodness and worth when you can't see it for yourself. 
to teach our children, through our own example, what it looks like to trust God, to do hard things, to love others fiercely, and to see the magic in any given moment. Now that Reagan and Eleanor have given themselves to each other by solemn vows and giving and receiving of rings, the authority of the Word of God and to me as a minister of the gospel, in accordance with the laws of the state of North Carolina, I pronounce you husband and wife. What God has joined together, let no man separate. And something mysterious just happened. You two just became one. and Reagan. Tomorrow you're uh, starting a wonderful journey together and Vicki and I look forward to experiencing that with you. One thing I'll leave you with is something that I was told a long time ago. Control what you can, cope with what you can't, concentrate on what counts. And what counts is your relationship and your love for each other.